Hi guys, Tracy here with a layout of another picture from New York City. This is an Instagram I did um, of, of a photo that Scott took of me in by Bryant Park. And uh, I'm just having a look at some of the papers that come in the Classy Girls kit. And I love the colors of these papers. So this is the first layout. This might not be the first layout that you guys see, but this is the first layout uh, that I created with this kit. So everything is intact and I have my choice of what I want to use, which is always, I love the first layout with a kit because you've got so many choices. So I cut apart one of the Cartabella, hello again, um, papers that were the three by four cut aparts, the one that says happy, happy, happy. And I'm just selecting some photos that I think are gonna look nice with the, I'm kind of trying to pick up on the pink flowers that are in the background of this picture and uh, some of the tones of greens and, and stuff in the photo. So my background is going to be made up of this paper which is from the October Afternoon Travel Girl collection that came in the kit. All this stuff, I'll, I'll mention the stuff from my stash, so everything else is from the kit. And then the background paper, I think it's called Arizona, it's by Basil and it's one of the cardstocks that came in the kit. Or maybe it's called Colorado. I don't know. It's got the name of a state. Anyways, a deserty state, a warm, hot, dry state. <laughs> um, I'm doing my outlining using uh, probably my zig marker. That's what I usually know. I'm not. I'm using a pit pen. Um, it looks like I'm talking while I'm doing this, but I don't know. Oh, yes, I am talking. I'm socializing while I do this video. <laughs> so this is the first video that I've ever made while somebody was in my scrap room with me, but I really wanted to um, get a process video done for this one. So, <laughs> so you'll see my hands moving. That's because I talk, I talk with my hands a little bit. So um, that'll just give me a chance to talk a little bit more about this layout um, on this video. Uh, I am using that yellow, I love that mosaic heart paper from the Hello Again collection um, from Cartabella that came in the kit and I just absolutely love it. So I'm going to use that as my main piece of pattern paper that's going to run horizontally across the layout and then I'm going to have the square photo kind of layered, be tucked over the happy, happy, happy um, three by four card. I'm grabbing my circle cutter because um, with all the square elements on this layout, I want a circle to um, kind of just layer behind some of the squares and soften it a little bit, squares and rectangles. So this is uh, my circle cutter and it's made by um, EK Success. It didn't cut quite well, so I had to trim it up with my scissors. I think my blade is getting dull. I thought about using that punched scalloped circle as the circle element, but it wasn't big enough, so I went to my circle cutter. I'm gonna trim down this piece of yellow paper so it fits within, it, rather than going off the edge of the layout like I sometimes do, I'm gonna make this one fit within the layout, within the borders of the layout. I'm outlining using my pit pen again. And my pit pen makes a slightly darker, slightly thicker line than my Zig Writer, so that's probably why, why I'm using it here, although it could be just that it was the one that was closest at hand. I'm double outlining, which gives it a sketchy look, a uh, sketchy kind of casual look. It also hides your mistakes, and it makes it a little bit darker. So I'm playing around with the lineup of this one. I hope this video doesn't end up being too boring with me chatting with my friend um, while I did it. But uh, as I said, it might just give me more time to talk about the layout. Now this paper over on the side uh, by, it is by Pebbles. It's from the Lakeside collection. And I'm gonna use that with my big shot. Here you see me um, lining it up with the die. This is the Tasteful Trims die from Stampin' Up. I love that die because it has a couple of, it has a really large scallop border which is bigger than my punch and it also has this huge wavy, it's almost like a rickrack, um, but it's wavy, a wavy border die I guess. <laughs> 
Um, and I really like the, again, that adds even more softness to this with all the hard corners. So I'm going to outline it, which I'm not the greatest at outlining curvy things, but I'm trying my best. I find the faster I go, the better I am. If I go too slow, sometimes it just looks worse. Again, double outlining it does hide your mistakes, so I'm going to double outline it. I'm not hugely impressed with how this the outlining turned out on this, but I'm going to go with it anyways, just because I don't want to be too fussy. I really enjoy the process of scrapbooking more than anything, and if I have to go back and fix things, it just takes away from the fun of it for me. So it has to be a pretty bad mistake or a day when I'm feeling particularly, I don't know, OCD about details um, in order for me to go back and fix something in scrapbooking. So I'm going to double uh, double outline this little piece too. And this wasn't something that I intended to cut. It's just it cuts the whole thing, right? And so it has four or five different trims on there on that die. And I just noticed that one sitting there and thought it looked kind of cool. So I thought I would add it to my design. So I, I'm going to put it up there in the corner. It's going to be the bottom um it's going to be the bottom piece that my layering, my journaling is going to go above it and then a couple of little layers are going to go below it. So I thought about using a sticker from the sticker set from Hello Again that came in the kit, but I decided against it. I am going to put this loving tab on and I love that sticker. Love those tabs. I, I almost didn't want to break them apart because I think they'd look great together. They say loving, seeing, doing or something like that. And um, I wanted to use them together, but then I thought, I can't save things like that. I have to use them. That's part of my motto for scrapbooking is use it up. Don't save things for a better layout because this layout needs to be kind of like the one that I'm paying the most attention to. So That uh, big yellow box is looking a little bit too big to me. So I'm eventually, I don't know when, because I seem to be chatting right now, um, I'm eventually going to realize that, that there's too much yellow space below the wavy line. And if I move everything down, then my circle isn't going to be popping out over the top of the yellow enough. So I'm going to eventually cut that down. I'm just having a look at what stamps come with the kit so I can decide if I'm going to do any stamping on this layout, which I don't think I am. Having a look at the tidbits from October afternoon that came with the kit and I've decided to put a little bow up in the top corner with my little embellishments up there. So again, I'm thinking about stamping, but I don't think I do. Nope. I don't see any anyways. And I'm thinking about how I'm going to fill that space because I'm starting to notice it at this point. And so I'm kind of, right now I'm going through the kit again to see if there's anything else that I want to add. And then I pulled out my vellum and decided to put my vellum, a little vellum strip there. But that's not going to be enough either. I am going to cut it again, I think. I think I'm going to cut it. Here I go. So now I just use my ruler to tear that vellum again and I'm going to add the outlines on the bottom of that so it doesn't look like I tore it after the fact or like I cut it after the fact and that is much more proportional to the idea that I had in mind so I'm liking this a lot more. I'm going to stick down that giant rickrack and start to stick together all these pieces now because I'm pretty happy with how this design is turning out. I don't usually, I'm not usually this productive when I have somebody with me in my scrap room. I usually just kind of don't get much done. But this day, for some reason, I got a lot done. I got most of this layout done when Tanya was here. So I'm reaching for my roller date stamp. I'm going to put it in that white space above the word loving and I'm using my red stays on ink to do that because it is a shiny surface sticker and I don't want it to smudge and I also don't want to wait 10 hours for it to dry. So I'm just going to go with stays on. Whenever I'm in doubt I always just use stays on. 
Now I'm just having a look at these stickers here. These are the Hello Again stickers that came with the kit and I'm thinking that I need something, I'm going to pick something navy blue or darker. I'm looking at some of those black ones on the fancy pants label stickers that came in the kit. And I really want to, <laughs> this is the point at which I want to say that that t-shirt is fabulous, but it's, <laughs> I keep, it looks like I'm pointing to my boobs <laughs> and I don't want to say my boobs are fabulous. <laughs> Um, I decide to go with that gave my friend and I a bit of a chuckle because I really wanted to say the t-shirt is fabulous but I just couldn't figure out a way to use that sticker without it looking the other way so <laughs> um, I decided to do something out of character for me which is use these floral stickers usually the florals don't get used in a set of die cuts or stickers for me but uh, what I what I did was I really liked these ones and um, I, I just decided to use them as bases for embellishment so that it's not overly floral I'm gonna actually cover them with buttons eventually. Not cover them entirely, but I'm going to cover a good par part of them with buttons so that you're going to see that there are flowers under there, but they're not going to be kind of screaming florals. I'd love to use another one of those bows besides the bow that is up in the top corner, but I'm not going to get to use one in this layout, but maybe another one. I really want to fill in the ratings as you know five stars out of five but I'm kind of struggling with using something in the kit that's gonna kind of serve that purpose so I'm I've grabbed my stash of wood veneers you see them in those stacked containers there got those at Michaels in the scrapbooking storage section and I'm going to glue five little wood veneer stars they are the perfect shape they layer perfectly over those stars on the sticker and I'm going to use my glossy accents to I just had to use a, a little safety pin to open it up because it was clogged and I'm going to glue those in place Then by the time the last one is glued the first one will be dried then I'm going to go back with my Daffodil Delights Stampin' Up marker and I'm going to color them in yellow they don't look all that yellow and one of them had a lot of dark on it the, the studio calico wood veneers have differing amounts of darkness on the edges and so um, so anyways uh, they do look more yellow when you see the pictures than they do in this video so I'm just thinking about what I want to add to this for embellishments I know I want to add I know that I want to add something over those uh, floral stickers but I just hadn't decided what yet so whenever I'm not sure what to do next I just move on to something else and then when I come back to it sometimes I have a fresher perspective on it so I'm going to work on this top cluster which I did have a pretty good sense of what I wanted to do with so I am I'm adding a third little floral sticker just because I like things in threes a design principle and so I don't always follow it but in this case I do want three clusters of flowers on this one and I'm gonna cover this one quite a bit as well as I intend to cover the other ones I'm using one of those Ormolu flare that came in the kit that says lovely and I just attach those with a little foam dot and they're slightly concave in the back so when you use a foam dot they lie flat on the paper so it doesn't add any extra dimension from what the flare badge itself adds so I added that little um, bow tie which is so cute I didn't think I'd like bow ties but I have to say I love working with them those are from the I think they're from the Atlantic collection from Studio Calico they're definitely from Studio Calico but I just can't remember which collection so I'm playing around with adding some more stickers but I'm not going to end up adding any more I don't think. Here I pull out my buttons and I'm going to use one of the flare as a large part. It's going to cover most of the center of that pink, large pink flower and then I'm going to just randomly cluster those buttons together so that mostly the leaves are sticking out. You can see that there, that there are flowers under there and I'm going to fill in with some sequins as well. So I think I'm going to do most of, I'm, I'm going to glue down those buttons off camera so I think at this point they're already glued and I'm just adding the sequins in between them. 
kind of in around, and I'm going to put one up there just for good measure. I'm using my glossy accents for gluing. It's the same thing I used for the buttons. I'm going to use them for the sequins. And those sequins are from the Atlantic collection from Studio Calico. We got a whole a whole package of them with our kit. Now I am trying to figure out what I'm going to do for this title. And I decide to just put the name of the place that we were at. Whenever I do travel um, layouts, I often just use, I, it, rather than using imaginative titles, I'm not great at coming up with imaginative titles anyways, I had to look it up because we had a park called Byron Park in another city that I lived in, and or a city I visited or something. Anyways, I know there there is a Byron Park in my past, and I... I I'm sure that it was Bryant Park, but I wanted to make absolutely sure before I put it in my scrapbook. Um, so I'm adding some uh, cork arrows here, but I'm, that's a little bit too much. So I'm going to take them away from up there. And I still haven't decided what I'm going to layer over the flowers in the top. If I'm going to add more buttons, which is kind of my default idea, but I'm not quite doing it yet just in case I come up with a better idea. So sometimes I hold off on, on executing an idea just while I kind of think about it and let it percolate and decide if that's what I really want to do. And that's what's happening with that top cluster of the cluster that doesn't exist yet <laughs> um, by the top flower sticker. So I really like how that uh, title looks, even though it doesn't have any layering underneath of it or anything like that that I often do with a title. These buttons don't look finished to me though, so I'm going to add some some twine. I thought about using this twine that came in a kit from not too long ago. I forget which kit, but then I decided that I wanted to use, um, because that twine is variegated, so as I stitch it's going to change color and I want it to be all the same color. So I First I took out just this regular string from Canadian Tire or something and then I decided that that was, well I didn't decide, that was just too thick, it wouldn't go through a, it wouldn't go through a needle. So, or at least I thought it wouldn't go through a needle. Yeah, it's not going to go through those holes very well. So I zoomed in so you could see and of course it's all happening off camera and so Anyways, I think it's not going to go through the buttonholes, it's just too thick. I had some type of a problem with it. So I pulled out my Stampin' Up! Linen Thread, which is one of my very favorite Stampin' Up! products. Um, I always keep some of that in my stash because it's a good neutral thread. Sorry I'm off camera here, um, but I think I'll be on camera soon. Oh dear. <laughs> so yeah, I forgot to tie a, a knot there, so I'm pulling it through. And there you go. So I'm gonna um, I'm gonna sew through all of these, and I think what I might do is just edit that out because it's a little hard to watch because it's flipping around a lot. Um, so I'm just gonna edit that out. And now here I am done stitching. Oh, I seem to have forgotten one, or maybe I just didn't have enough thread. Oh no, right, I left that one undone on purpose because I wanted to tie a bow on the biggest button. So I threaded it the opposite way, so you have to kind of come up through the back um, twice, if that makes any sense. I'm putting a little tiny bit of mono adhesive there just to keep my bow in place so it doesn't come untied accidentally in the process of putting this in the, in the page protector and taking photos of it and stacking it up with other layouts and stuff. So here I'm going to put my journaling. I like to do a bit of journaling above a top cluster or below a top cluster um, just because it gives a nice little spot to hold a little bit of journaling. So I'm using my Zig Writer for this. And I think I can call her done now. Or maybe not. I'm going to take one button from my stash there and I'm going to 
play around a little bit with adding some more buttons, but I'm going to end up not adding those. So I do keep my buttons in this little um, kit that I got from Michaels and uh, I like it. I like storing my buttons. I don't have a ton of buttons but I do like storing them by color but I don't have enough to fill up a jar of each color or anything like that. So I'm going to take off those extra buttons and I end up only using one button that didn't come from the kit and it is also an October afternoon. So the kit came with a bunch of October afternoon buttons uh, from probably from Travel Girl and um, I had a bunch of October afternoon buttons already in my stash, so the one that I chose I think is an October afternoon button anyway, so you could easily um, use any button that you wanted there, but I just wanted to keep it in the same color group. Added a few sequins to this cluster, and now I'm going to add the thread again. So I use a darning needle for this. It doesn't have a pointy end. It's just a um, a blunt end. And so I pre-poke my holes and I use the, the black foam backing that I'm poking into when I when I was poking um, is a it's a it's the foam that brads come in. Certain manufacturers make their brads um, and they stick them into foam and kind of package them that way. And uh, I always keep that foam and I use it for a bunch of different things, including storing brads and also uh, to use with my paper piercer. So I really like how those buttons turned out, except for the fact that two of them have horizontal have vertical um, lines on them. I should have twisted one of them a little tiny bit. So there's that top cluster with the floral sticker and the bow and the flare badge and the sticker. I just love that little cluster. It's tiny, it's simple, and it's really cute. Um, I love those letter stickers that came in this kit. I love the color of them and I love a plain simple block skinny font. It's one of my favorite things to letter with. And then um, those buttons are just so perfect for the colors in that paper pack. So lots of hello again on this layout and then a smattering of other things as well from the kit. So I'm going to show you some photos after I finish showing you this close up. And uh, you guys have a great scrappy week and I'll see you on the next layout. Mm -hmm.